So now I've got my first distribution as a, uh, a parallel opposed treatment. So um, I'm just going to zoom out there. And what we need to do just to start off with is to have a scroll through. And if I was to say that the minimum dose we wanted was 95% um, and the maximum dose we would like to give to a PTV is 107%, just have a scroll through and just see what you think in terms of how close we are to that. So this is our 95% isodose. So you can see that dipping in there and dipping in there. And you can see we've got these big hot regions here and big hot regions here, ant and post. So uh, lots of hot regions and we're still underdosing our PTV. So let's do as we've done before. Um, and I want to have a look at the beam profile again. And this one's actually very different so it's quite an interesting do profile when we do that so we can see there that we've got uh, one beam building up and dropping off we've got the other beam building up and dropping off and if we look at the sum of the beams we can see that we get a much more even dose distribution across here and we've still got this little dent here haven't we here from where the air is in the rectum and actually because it's been contributed to in two fields you can see the sum of it is actually it makes quite a big difference there so um, we can do that and we can also have a look at our dose volume histogram again now and if I was to um, let's do right click show crosshair again find 95% which is around here somewhere we can see that we're now treating 82% of the PTV so a huge huge difference going from kind of less than 10% at 6MV to 20 to 30% at 10MV now up to 82% so quite a big difference in terms of the PTV and the coverage so what I want to have a go at now is adjusting the field size once again to try and optimize it for this um, this parallel opposed setup okay I'm just gonna have just noticed that I've got another cross there that I don't really want to see at the moment so I'm just gonna untick that and make the screen as clean as I can and actually the other thing that I'm gonna do to make the screen cleaner is to um, I'm gonna untick everything on there other than the PTV so I can just see the PTV there and I'm just gonna get rid of my DVH now as well okay so if it defaults to kind of an unusual view like this which it seems to do sometimes right click there beams eye view and just pick the field that we want to look at so what I'm going to do now is look for my 95% isodose which is this blue one here and so um, one thing you could do if you wanted to make life even easier again is if we go to isodose levels and I'm just going to untick everything other than the 95% one if that's the one I'm interested in and you can see that that's dipping in there like this and dipping in there like that okay so what I want to do is try and get a balance between treating too much normal tissue and um, trying to get as much of the PTV covered as possible with that minimum of 95% so what I'm going to do is pick a field and as I scroll up and down I can see here for instance that it's dipping in here which is this point here on the patient there okay so um, what I'm going to do is in fact, the first thing I've just noticed is that the field um, isn't um, half a centimeter bigger all the way around okay so the first thing I'm going to do is start off by doing that because we know that that's our rough starting point so I'm going to do fit to structure and I'm going to do half a centimeter bigger and click fit and then let's calculate that so f5 to calculate and once that's calculated um, that will give us our dose distribution there so we can see it's still dipping in there so what we're going to do is I uh, can see here that I'm here on the patient and so what I need to do is move some of these leaves out in order so if I move the leaves out this is going to move out as well and increase the coverage in this region here and here so let's have a go at that and I'm just going to make that screen bigger so that I can um, just make things a bit easier to see 
and I'm going to zoom in as well there. So what we can do is pick up a number of leaves together. So this is where we are on the patient, and I noticed that a few slices above and below we were under covering. So what I'm going to do is left click there. I'm going to click there first, sorry. So I'm going to click leaves there, sorry. Left click there. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to click there. And so we can select a number of leaves. So I'm going to move those out. And it was the same on the other side. So I'm going to go click there, shift, slide out. And then I'm going to calculate again and see what that looks like. So let's get that scene. And we'll see that that will pull these isidoses out. We're always going to have this um, hourglass shape. So it's a real kind of bit of a juggling act between um, not pulling the leaves out too much so it irradiates lots of normal tissue up here, but also tries to cover the patient here okay and typically with a pop what we do on one field we typically do on the opposing field as well so what we need to do is just spend a little bit of time uh, just in leaves and more to just so you can see what effect that has on the overall distribution so either just have the 95 percent isodose displayed or you can turn them all on or just a number of them on depending whether you think the screen looks too busy so maybe having 90 95 and 100 on um, might uh, make life a little bit easier um, but also show you the information that, that you want to see and once you've had a go at adjusting that go back to your DVH and just see how much difference that's actually made in terms of how much coverage we've got at 95% isodose of the PTV okay so look that up um, so make a few adjustments and then look it up again and actually see how much difference uh, that is making and then when we've got our finished plan we can have a think about comparing what we've ended up with a pop compared to what we had as a single field and actually the, by adding that one extra field the huge difference that makes to the dose distribution but then equally we also need to think about any of the resource implications of that and the addition of, of time for the patient to be treated while they're on the couch while we do this.